In this tutorial, we will be taking an introductory look at object-oriented programming in C++. Here we will look at classes and objects and their various components. We will look at the basic types of class operations such as constructors, destructors, setters, and getters. Finally, we will look at the keywords private, public, and protected. When you're done with this video tutorial, you may want to check out the link in the video description for some example code. Also, you can move on to the next video in the object-oriented programming series, Inheritance. Object-oriented programming is a programming methodology that focuses on modeling data and functions as objects. By contrast, procedural programming focuses on program execution, statement by statement. In a way, object-oriented programming is more abstract, while procedural programming is closer to the raw machine instructions. Object-oriented programming is how the majority of apps are made today. It's essential to game programming, making the kinds of apps you might use on your phone or tablet. Object-oriented programming is a good way to design programs in an efficient and intuitive manner. Objects give you a high-level concept to start with so that you can design first and code later. Object-oriented programming is also a good way to encapsulate data and keep components functionally separate from each other. If you create a linked list class for one program, you can easily reuse this code in another program as long as the linked list class is self-contained, meaning it doesn't rely on external code to do its job. In general, we can think of an object as something with a unique identity. This is true in the real world as well as in the software world. A bike, for instance, is an object with a unique identity since it occupies a unique location in space and time. Also, it possesses its own set of attributes and behaviors. Attributes may include the brand name, color, and price. Behaviors may include pedal, brake, and change gears. In object-oriented programming, a class is a template for creating objects. The template is a particular set of attributes and behaviors. Objects implement these attributes as data, and behaviors as functions. A class is a data type, and an object is a variable of that class. In general, objects have two basic methods, the constructor and the destructor. The constructor is what instantiates the object and allocates dynamic memory as needed. A constructor that takes in parameters is called a normal constructor, while a constructor that does not is called a default constructor. The destructor is used to deallocate any dynamic memory used by the object. The destructor is called at the end of the object's lifespan or when the program terminates. Besides constructors and destructors, objects have two other kinds of methods, setters and getters. A setter is a method that changes the data attributes of an object. For example, set price will take a floating point number as a parameter and set the price variable to the value passed in. A getter method retrieves the data of an object. A getter doesn't change an object, but rather lets you peek inside of it. For example, we can give the bike class a method called getPrice that returns the value inside the price variable. In C++, there are certain keywords for controlling the access level of the data members and methods of a class. Private means that the class members are only visible to the class itself. Usually, data members are private so that you can act them only through the setter and getter methods. Protected means that the class members are only visible to the class and its derived classes. Protected is used in inheritance chains. We will cover inheritance in the next tutorial in the object-oriented programming series. Public means 
that the class members are visible to entities outside the class. Typically, most class methods are public so that they can be called from outside the class. Public methods are like the windows that let anyone see into your house. They are also like windows that let you stick your hand in and rearrange your furniture. You have reached the end of this introductory tutorial to objects in C++. In the video description, you can copy and paste the code for a complete working example. If you are ready to move on to the next video in the object-oriented programming series, go to the C++ tutorial on inheritance. Thanks for watching.